This grocery store plant shopping video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today is a grocery store plant shopping video. I just got back from grocery shopping. And while I was there, I was shopping at Meijer, but this is like across the board at all different grocery stores um, where I'm seeing some amazing houseplants and tropical plants, even uncommon or rare plants. Like I saw today, it was insane. So definitely keep an eye out for some of these plants that I saw while I was plant shopping today. And if you enjoy planty stuff, definitely subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a fabulous community on Instagram and TikTok. Now a huge thank you to our friends at Squarespace for sponsoring this plant shopping video. With Squarespace, you do not need to be a technology expert to have a website, which is my favorite thing about it, is that anybody can create an incredible website. Now, if you are wanting to have a template, they have so many templates. I mean, every category. For me, it was by far the easiest experience I've ever had creating a website. And if you want to have an online store, you can easily set up an online store, whether you sell physical, digital, or service products. You can even have custom merch where you design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are actually handled for you. Head to squarespace.com slash plantlife to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm at this amazing grocery store called Meyer. It's basically like a really huge super target. And I'm always really surprised by the plants that I find. And to be honest, I am seeing more and more of these plants at regular kind of grocery stores across the board. I'm half my time in Michigan, half my time in Charlotte, North Carolina. So keep an eye out for some of these plants, even at your local grocery stores, wherever you may be. This is cool. Look at this guy. It looks like the brain coral, except it's grafted on um, something a little bit different than I normally see the brain coral cat. I don't know, this is awesome. Look at this. Not cool. I'm, I want to see how much it costs, but I don't see a price on there. Um, I'm not sure how much that one is, but this one, is this the rat tail? Oh, dragon fruit. I was about to say dragon fruit is this dragon fruit that is grafted on if you know what kind of cactus this is let me know because um, a lot of them are grafted onto this kind all right so I see a price here um, for the little air plants it's $12.99 and then we see some really cool succulents these are $5.99 for the different echeveria this blue candle cactus is beautiful it has one of these little flowers glued on top. I think they do that because then it's easier to move the cactus around. Um, <laughs> it's so big in this tiny little pot. Here's some more of these succulents, $5.99, yes. And these you see a lot, Wild Interiors. I see this brand at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is a great spot for houseplants. This is an interesting one as well. It's also grafted and it looks like it's a plumosa, a plumosa cactus on here, which is really interesting. I've never seen that before. Some more cute little succulents here. And we have some more cacti. These are $12.99 for the cacti. I think this one in the back here on the left is awesome. I just love the, <laughs> the hairiness of him. Then this is a Tradescantia nanook, a beautiful Tradescantia. It has the purple leaves. I like the little terracotta pot it's in, although it has the nursery pot in there as well. And this one is $7.99. This is where I found the um, Shiveriana one time for $6 when it was new on the market. So it's just really interesting to see the plants that come out. This is a beautiful Calathea. $24.99 on the Calathea. These are so cute. <laughs> I love those. Um, this succulent is very beautiful. I love the shape of those leaves. And they have a little polka dot plant, little uh, snake plant back there, and another succulent. I'm kind of in the succulent and cacti section. There's a, there are quite a few tropicals um, in other parts of this section, but I don't want to miss anything because I found an astrophytum here before. And we have up here uh, money trees. They're beautiful. Strange, I'm not seeing 
like prices. Okay, this one is $19.99 for the money tree. Some bromeliads. All right, so here we have anthurium. And these are some of the largest um, anthurium flowers and blooms that I've seen. They have white ones. I mean, look at these big anthurium leaves. They actually look like some of the beautiful tropical anthurium, the more uncommon varieties that I like to collect when the leaves are this big. It, it looks similar to them. Ooh, we have some more plants over here. I love the little um, elephant. So cute. Little cactus there. Oh, here's a tiny Tradescantia. Looks really nice in this pot. $12.99 for that one. Then we have a beautiful Calathea. What else do we have? Ooh. All right, so we have an orchid cactus over there. Um, and I think this one is a type of Aurelia on the right. Now, this one on the left is so silvery. Beautiful Pilea. Then we have the brain <laughs> cactus over there and the dragon fruit, as well as some more little succulents. Here we have some more little succulents. Is this maybe a lipstick plant? $6.99. These are pretty um, snake plants. I like the color of those. <laughs> Some fun succulents. This one's very fuzzy. I think this one's called like a blue chalk, maybe. Some more anthurium. These are nice, the little hanging, hanging snake plants and succulents. We have a little palm some stromanthi over here and we have a, a yellow philodendron on the left or lemon lime and then a neon pothos on the right and dracaena in the back there Ooh, another beautiful monstera deliciosa and a stunning humongous piece lily look how huge this one is 24 for this humongous plant is a great deal. And then we have some fiddle leaf fig and some snake plants. How much are these? 24 still. So 24 for the little fiddles. Ooh, lots of more tropical plants. Lots of more. <laughs> what I'm saying half the time. Here we have some coffee plants. How much are these? $6.99. So all these will be $6.99. They're all the same size. There's some beautiful ivy, little dracaena. Up here we have a really cute alocasia and even a little rubber tree and some bromeliads. Some more ivy and some uh, peperomia here. Looks like marble. And they have the solid green kind, some more pileas. Here's another peperomia. I think this one's called like string bean. Happy bean. Oh, cute. Wow, how beautiful are these? Oh, it's like my favorite color. Just obsessed. The purpley blue color just gets me every time. These pilea are very stunning as well. Very healthy looking. We have some lilies, and these little succulent gardens are cute. Oh my, some exciting hanging plants. Look, they have Dachidia beetle or Peperomia beetle. I think it's Peperomia beetle. I don't know why I said Dachidia, but I have one of these and it does great. And look, this one's actually, these are all little blooms. They have a couple of them and it's $17.99. That is a Deal. Then we have a beautiful golden pothos, $17.99. They have, this is called a Moon Valley friendship plant. Moon Valley for the kind of texture and craters on the leaves and friendship plant because it's very easy to propagate and give to your friends. Then we have the fun goldfish plant and these are 12. They put out the most beautiful little goldfish shaped orange blooms. You can see here what it looks like. Now there are many different varieties of goldfish plants and the blooms all look a little bit different. So it's a fun plant to collect. This is called a purple passion and it's a stunner. Now it will put out blooms occasionally, but the blooms are really stinky. I've heard. <laughs> I haven't had the pleasure myself of seeing blooms, but, um, 
just wanted to point that out and they're very thirsty but they just have this gorgeous purple vibrant purple fuzz on the leaves which i love i think the star of the show though other than the beetle because that one's somewhat uncommon and and hard to find are these beautiful rex begonias i mean look at the size of these leaves compared to my hand and not just that but the color and like it's almost like someone's taken a paintbrush and just kind of splashed it on the leaves in all different colors it's so so lovely 17 dollars for these large ones as well and then we have a big fern here it doesn't say what variety um, and I'm not a fern expert, so I'm not going to take a guess. I, I'm not sure. Um, and then we have some string of varieties up here. String of turtles is the first one I see with the cute little turtle shell leaves. And they're $9.99. This is a cool Pilea aquamarine. Absolutely lovely. Then we have string of pearls and string of bananas. Ooh, I see some other tropicals here. <gasps> Get out of town, they have freaking ring of fire. No way. I, okay, other people have been finding ring of fire at different stores. I never thought I would find it at a grocery store of all places, but let's see how much they are. 28 for ring of fire, so ring of fire many of you will know is i mean up until this past year was really uncommon and rare and i mean not that long ago the i mean i got one and it was 150 dollars and these are beautiful they're easy care they have nice variegation on the leaves and the shape of the leaves is cool it's elongated just wow that's an amazing amazing find if i didn't already have two of them i would definitely get another one and then here we have another um fun plant and i'm not sure which philodendron it is maybe a, a white knight um i'm trying to remember which one has a little bit of red on the stem you can leave it in the comment below comments below maybe it's either a white knight white princess or white wizard um i'm not sure which one i know the white knight is the m most readily available right now like you do see it at big box shop another one that was really uncommon and rare for the longest time so 28 dollars as well such a really cool find i see some other exciting plants over here but i just wanted to make sure i'm not missing anything turtle vine looks like a little tradescantia here and then down here some different dracaena some pothos plants some epipremnums Ooh! all right so we have the pink princess philodendron another favorite amongst the plant community looks like these are part of the wild interiors as well let's see the price on these 16 16 dollars for the pink princess wow and then we have some Dracaena, and this is a Begonia Maculata YDI. It's a beautiful angel wing Begonia. These will be 16 as well. And this is a beautiful Pothos. Stramanthi. I think Stramanthi are really pretty, and I like the pot that it's in. It brings out the pink of the leaves. ZZ plants here. This is the fuzzy Calathea. It doesn't look like much until you touch the leaves, and then it just has a little something special. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's see if there's anything else some really cute little succulents. I like the pots they're in They're wooden. It's part of the live trends. You see those a lot at like Lowe's and Lowe's or Home Depot All right What else do we have kind of mixed in here? ZZ plants. I like that they have like the pink plants kind of trend um, This looks like an alocasia pink dragon maybe and these are 16. Some more of the Ring of Fire. Literally such a great find. That is insane. Insane. Just the best deal ever. I like that they call it a fancy philodendron. Because she is. She's fancy. Um, ooh, lavender. Anybody else obsessed with lavender? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I love lavender so much. 
I just get the spray and like spray it everywhere because it just calms me. Um, these are, uh, I think this is called like a shark aloe, a shark tooth aloe or something like that. Some other little baby aloe. So cute. All right, some more lilies. Asiatic lily, $9.99. I don't know much about lilies, but that seems like a good price, right? And then we have two lips down there, $9.99. Ooh. Oh, I just saw some really cool plants over here. This is Peperomia Hope. And these are very big pots of it. It's one of my favorite Peperomias. It feels very succulenty, and it's one of the, to me, easier Peperomias to take care of. And they're $24 in these huge buckets. And it's a great trailing plant, in my opinion. What else do we have down here? Some more succulents, Peperomia. Uh-oh. Somebody's upset. I don't know if you can hear. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's, <gasps> I love that it's in the heads. Turtle vine, cute little Tradescantia. And these are only $12.99. I mean, I'm surprised that just the pot would be more than that usually. That's a great price. Lots of beautiful palms. They have Gerber daisies. They even have some pitcher plants. $9.99, they actually look pretty good. You know, carnivorous plants can be notoriously fussy, but they're looking pretty healthy. And then we have some Kalanchoes over here. These are so cute. They have like little artificial eggs in there and a little um, air plant. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of the plants for Easter and spring. Really, really lovely some cut flowers. I mean, this place is massive. Let me, I'm trying to be like, not super obvious that I'm filming, but just cause it's awkward. <laughs> but um, you think after all this time I would be used to filming out in public, but I still get nervous sometimes, just a little shy, so. Don't let that stop you if that's something that you've been thinking about as well, cause it's just one of those things. And we have African violets. Uh, these are beautiful. Look how pretty they are. Well, trying to keep an eye out, see if I see any variegated ones. These are adorable as well. How nice are these? $20.99, Tree of Enchantment. Oh, so Salix capria pendula. That is so cool. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if they stay small or if they get large. Do you guys know anything about this plant? I've seen it before. Um, I'm not gonna lie, tempting. They're so pretty. We have some more little succulents here. And then some more lilies. And cute little duckies. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love them. I was taking a look at some of these orchids and there are ones that I don't know, like I haven't seen. And I think this one is really standing out to me. Um, particularly this part of it. Oops, not touching them because I don't want to mess up the plants, but aren't they so beautiful? Like, how gorgeous is that? Now these are the Phalaenopsis that I see around quite a bit, but this one was really unusual. So if you guys know, maybe it's labeled? Silver Vase Orchid. Is that what it's called? It's so pretty. And they have some little ones down here. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Right, how incredible was that? Again, this was at a Meyer, but I am seeing a lot of these plants at different grocery stores. I mean, just go to your, next time you're grocery shopping, check out the plant section. At this one, they had Ring of Fire, which was amazing. They had Pink Princess Philodendrons. They had a white, I think it was a white knight Philodendron, but correct me if I'm wrong. And 
Uh, there, I mean, there's so many I'm forgetting. So if you enjoyed, definitely subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And again, we have a great community on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I get to see you soon. Bye.